Hey guys, and welcome back to a new video that will probably help a lot of uh, beginners among you who are now wondering whether they should still learn XML in 2022 for Android development or if they should directly jump to Jetpack Compose, which is the new way of making Android UIs. So I guess most of you will have realized that I don't do any more XML stuff in my videos. That's true. Why do I do this? Well, there are multiple reasons. I only use Jetpack Compose in my videos. On the one hand, I think that it's just the future of UI design. If you take a look at all the big front-end frameworks, all the big mobile frameworks like Flutter, like iOS, they all use this declarative UI design approach. And there is a reason for that. It's just better, it's less um, error-prone, and you can, you can better scale your applications with this approach. And Jetpack Compose just uses this declarative UI design approach, which the old Android view system, which I basically mean with XML here, does not use. So XML is definitely not the future of Android. So far that's clear. And people just don't want to see outdated content on YouTube. I don't say XML is outdated. Um, let me phrase it differently. People want to see the most up-to-date content on YouTube and that's just Jetpack Compose. That's why I only do this. I also have to think about making videos that people will watch in a year from now and if people already shift a lot to Jetpack Compose then that will not be different in a year from now. Uh, there will even be more people than there are now. So does that mean you should simply skip XML as an Android beginner nowadays and directly learn to build Android UIs with Jetpack Compose? And there's a clear answer to that. No, don't do this. Don't skip XML. And the simple reason to that is that the internet is full of resources about XML. And let's say you would start with Jetpack Compose, which would be totally sufficient to build Android UIs and build Android apps. But let's say you then face a problem and you have to research your, your problem then you will find so many solutions using XML and the old Android view system. And if you then don't understand what happens there and why, why everything works together the way it does, how it works together, then that will be really hard for you to actually take this solution you might find on Stack Overflow or elsewhere and apply to your project, to your Jetpack Compose project. So you really don't have to become a pro at XML and uh, the end review system, but you should definitely understand how this works. And that includes, of course, building layout with XML, like knowing the typical layouts, like constraint layout, linear layout, relative layout, just knowing what these do. As I said, you don't need to become a master at it, but understanding what these are used for, how layout hierarchies work in Android XML, and that will also already help you to think in a, in a hierarchical way, you can say, in terms of building UI, because that's what you need anyways for any type of UI out there. Then of course you should know what Android views are, so on a class-based level you should know what activities are, which you also need in Compose, at least one activity, and you should know what fragments are and how you can use these. So those are really the Android components that we used on a, on a daily basis using the old approach with XML, with the view system, and that you will find all over the internet if you actually have a problem. So watching my Android fundamentals placed here on YouTube is a very good way to start with this XML based approach. And as long as you can see, um, an, I'd say an old Android project online, a legacy code project, it really isn't deprecated or so. You can still use XML for projects and be totally fine with that. But if you see such a project online, and you understand it and you understand how you could use a portion of that project and convert it to your compose code to make use of that in your compose code in a clean way, then you're actually ready to yeah, jump into Jetpack Compose. And then I would also nowadays probably choose Jetpack Compose for new projects. However, again, if you still feel XML is a way you like and you enjoy it and you, you know it really well, then it's totally fine to also start new projects with XML nowadays, which um, I also often did for freelance projects specifically because I'm just more experienced with XML because 
Of course, there's a much, much longer time span in uh, which I build XML projects and Jetpack Compose is still a fairly new topic and it's often hard to find some specific solutions to your problems. But in the long run, you should get familiar with Jetpack Compose because that is really where I see the future of native Android development in terms of UI design because all big frameworks use this approach. And as I said, there must be a reason for that. And there is a reason for that. And if you actually want to know how I would approach learning such a new topic, then I have a really cool video here for you, which you can simply watch next.